on the channel. This is Bubba. What this video is about today, it's going to be kind of lengthy, but anybody that uses the old 144 BM uh, supercharger, you can call them blower, you look it up, it's the same thing. What I had to go through using a 90 model block, or 96 model, 90s, and using the 86 front drive. What I had to do to get the idler set up right, get the belt straight so it'll run, and what have you. It was a little bit of a chore. Um, we're getting closer to firing this thing up. I hope to uh, have everything on it and ready to go here uh, shortly. I hope. But anyway, if you're interested in, in, in seeing how or what you're going to go through, the lined up on the uh, like a 80s model probably from uh i don't know probably the early 80s up to 86 using that water pump uh, watch it to see what you're going to end up doing now if you go back and use the uh say 90s or the late 80s early 90s mercruise pump you're, you're probably gonna be fine it probably both right up It'd be okay then we're using the 86 truck pump for the power steering because I got my AC, your alternator, and what all. There's some work to be done. That ain't a whole lot. It just takes time. But anyway, watch this and you'll see what I went through. It's going to be a talk over video because I, I didn't want a video. I mean, there was like six, seven hours in all the. I, taking everything back off of it, matching everything up, putting it back on. You know, messing with things, trying to get it right. So, anyway, watch this. So, what, what I did, and I'll talk to you at the end of it. I start off right here. I had to go ahead and bolt the supercharger down so I can get that plate back there on that. <clears throat> Looking at it left side, the EGR plate, drill and tap a quarter inch hole for the a vacuum port. I wanted one there. There is one on cylinder seven. Uh, I wanted one there, being it's uh, halfway across the intake, where I could get readings from uh, seven and the overall intake. There it is, right there. Uh, I did have to take the plate back off to screw the port in. It had to have a ninety in it, so I had to take the plate off. It is close to the supercharger. You can put a plug in it or you know a straight plug with the vacuum it's not going to work you're going to do a 90 on it or 45 will work you can put a 45 in it and i may do that later but if right now it'd be fine like it is here we go with the bolt up you bolt these idlers to your water pump there um, coming out from the bolts holding the water pump on behind it right there and really it's the only location you can do it unless you build different brackets or do it a different way i don't See why you want to, uh, being all the holes and that's where it was made to mount to. Uh, the only thing is, is depending on what water pump you use, how far out those bosses come. Uh, this water pump here was a little short, but here it was. Like one of my spacers I found here, it was hitting the belt, and I had to cut this thing down to make it fit. Uh, when you bolted up, the washer or the spacer was actually hitting the belt there at going to the AC. Right here, you see back in the back where I did cut it. It's flattened now where I can get the belt. Where it won't hit it. But you will have to take it loose to get that belt out of there. It is close. So just cut your old belt. And you still got to take it apart get your new belt back in. You get a smaller belt. <clears throat> you might get it between there, but I wouldn't do that. I'd go with the, the right belt. You know, the, the wide belt. Go to the top of the pulley. I still have to purchase one. I hadn't got one yet. But I did get it cut where it would be out of the way. Uh, so here. I went ahead and reinforced this bracket, the uh, idler. These idlers are bad about shaking and cracking. So uh, I found this little 90 right here to uh, give me a hole drilled and space it out to hold that thing still. This one has cracked before. Somebody's repaired it. They did a good repair on it. Uh, I looked at the repair and there's no cracks in it. it. It's held up real good. Whoever welded that up did a good job in the back. Uh, it's not, like I said, it's not cracked, not hurt. And you can see right there what kind of space it's got. 
that hole is already in the, uh, the alternator bracket. I didn't want to drill another one or make a slot, being it could come loose later on. So I just kind of left it, uh, you know, the way, the way it was. And then right here, still I had to space it back out to uh, get everything to clear. And we're fixing to uh, drill this hole to mount this thing. But right here, so the hole's drilled. That nut is right on top of the cap screw, the Allen cap screw. I'll have to tack weld that nut there. Because if you ever to take this water pump back off, you're going to lose these parts. These water screws and nuts will fall out. You'll never get it back right. Uh, it was close to do it with it off, you know, out of the truck. So that'll be welded up. There it is mounted. And that should hold that bracket a little stiller. Uh, I don't think it weakened it none. It's a, it's a little old... Uh, quarter inch hole so it should it should be fine uh, i think it will be we're gonna test it and find out anyway you know so it took a little bit of time to rig all this up try to get it right there we are again with it all bolted up ready to uh check my alignment make sure things lined up right Th this does take a lot of time to play with put it on take it off so here we are you know bolted up lined up hoping we're ready to go you know it was about a six hour job believe it or not it took a while uh i gotta have all the spacers built now and bolt it back up either tack weld them to the brackets or have them separate but then i got the belt here it's real close to that bolt i don't like that i need a bolt cut a three-eighths bolt cut with a shoulder on it where you screw it in it'll stop but extend out past the belt where i could tighten it up or add an idler there you do have enough room to uh, loosen the belt and add another idler if you want one. I mean, it doesn't have to have one that is on the loose side, so it's probably going to slap it. I think with the bolt coming out with the shoulder on it, up you know, out past the, the belt there, should be all right. Here I was just checking my belt alignments, making sure the top of the belt was the same as the bottom bottom part of the belt, where it wouldn't ride on one side or the other, and make sure they lined up. Uh, let's say it took a Took a while to do all this, but we got it done. There we are right there. That bolt, it is close. So I may uh, go down to the machine shop and have them cut me one where the bolt comes out past the, the belt when you tighten it down. It, like I said, it's just a, a bracket to hold it still. Here we go. Now that you see what you kind of got to go through on uh, taking stuff off, putting it back on, you know, getting your spacers right. Takes a little time, you know. But hey, we're getting there. Let's hope we fire this thing up pretty quick. I think we will. I got to uh, go down and get some brass nuts for the starter. And then uh, get our fuel, our plugs in it. Fire this thing up. It will be a live fire up. So uh, stay tuned and watch for that until it happens. This thing may uh, destroy itself. I don't know. Who knows? But anyway, thanks for watching. See y'all next Sunday. Let's see what uh, we can get done to about in. Talk to y'all in. Thanks. Mm -hmm.